Peace, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all week is going fine, because you know why? You can't change the past, but you can change the future. Today's video, we are doing the rack and pinion removal uh, for the Scion TC or for the Toyota Camry. Uh, the parts are interchangeable. So, uh, throw out a few uh, Toyota based vehicles like the Corolla, the Yaris, the Matrix. Uh, this same tutorial can be applied uh, with those vehicles also. But what I want to do uh, right now, I want to give you a quick rundown on the tools that I used and also um, for time's sake, because I don't want to spend too much time on this and you know, I, I know you want to get to the meat of this. So uh, I went ahead and just so you know, I went ahead and um, already unloosen a lot of the bolts and nuts so I wouldn't be stuck trying to do it uh, on the video because it takes time doing that so let's get started so the first thing you'll need is a ball joint separator you can get these from Harbor Freight Tools or AutoZone I think I paid maybe 15 or 20 bucks for this uh, this is perfect for this job this is a ratchet wrench and really, you're gonna use this end, it's 12 millimeter. Majority of, the, majority of these bolts and nuts that uh, hold the rack and pinion, they are a 12 millimeter. So this is perfect for getting in those tight places, you know. So now you don't have to have a half inch ratchet, you can use a 3 8 ratchet, you know. Uh, but I use the half inch ratchet because you're able to have a little more torque on it. So, but again, I use a 12 millimeter. This is for when you want when you're breaking the bolts from underneath the subframe. Also, too, this is a half inch breaker bar for when you um, you need a little bit more uh, leverage to pull to break those uh, to break those 12 millimeter bolts underneath the subframe. So basically, what you do, you take your breaker bar. Pop that on there, and now you have more leverage to turn. Now, this wrench, this open end wrench, it's a 11 to 16 open end wrench. I use this to uh, take the high pressure line off and also the return line. So you're gonna wanna Use this wrench to take that high pressure line off and take the uh, return line off of the uh, power steering. I'm sorry, off of the um, uh, rack and pinion. So this is just an extension. So when you need a little bit more length to reach that bolt or nut, stick that on there. You put that socket on there. And now you got your you got more room in there. You can stick it further in there. So now this little small 12 millimeter, I use this to get um what did I use this one for? It'll come to me, hold on. Okay, yeah, now I know. <laughs> So I use this little small one to get the uh, to get the the bolt out of the uh, the steering rack. The, the steering rack it comes down and it bolts onto the uh, rack and pinion. So you're gonna need this little small little 12 millimeter. This is a quarter inch. So you can get it in there and actually turn it. Because if you're trying to use any of these big tools to get in that small space. You're not gonna make it, so you wanna use this. This is WD-40. This is for, uh, before you start breaking any, any of the bolts off, you wanna spray some of this on it. You don't, don't drown it, just a few, it's fine. So the ones underneath, underneath, underneath the subframe, they get a lot of dust, dirt, grime, because you're driving on the road and they're exposed. So you wanna spray a little bit of this on there just to uh, make it a little bit easier for the nuts and, and bolts to break. Now, this breaker bar, this is for you, this is used for when you need more leverage. So, 
I use this in conjunction with this. So when I was breaking the high pressure lines, I, I didn't have very much room to get my arm in there. So what I did was I, I slid this inside of here like that and I broke it. And this flathead screwdriver, now uh, when I was just talking about where the steering column comes down and you have to remove that bolt, I mean, yeah, you have to remove that 12 millimeter bolt, there's a rubber boot around there. So it protects it from moisture. So you wanna have to push that rubber boot up so you can expose the, um, the 12 millimeter uh, bolt. And this, I just use this if I need any, if I need some extra, extra thump, you know. Uh, so a lot of times this is easier. You, you, you can pound that, you can pound it. You can pound it like this and break it off versus trying to use your brute strength. This has a little bit more force behind it. And so the next tool I have, just a regular, regular drill and with the wire brush. Now, when, when you spray this on there, you want, you want, you want to come back in and, and uh, clean it off, clean all that dirt and all that grime off and spray this back on there. You're gonna need a jack to lift the car, and you're gonna need some jack stands also. So the last thing, protection. As you can see, I have on long sleeves, even though it's 105 degrees outside, I have on long sleeves because when I have my arms in there, I want my arms to be protected because I'm, when I'm bringing them out, I don't want them to get cut or anything like that. Oh, one thing I did mention, you want to have some uh, Ziploc bags on hand. And what you want to do, you want to be able to, when you take nuts and bolts off, you want to immediately put them in a Ziploc bag and label what it is. That way you won't forget where it, where it came from. So you see where I have uh, these two bolts, I'm sorry, these two nuts, these two cotter pin nuts. I have it labeled ball joint because they go on the ball joint. Water. All right, let's get to it. So first thing you want to do, you want to jack your car up. This, this is the ball joint right here. So this is where I was saying you will use that ball joint separator. So you want to you want to remove this complete. You want to remove the ball joint off of the knuckle right here, off of the steering knuckle. And also too. You want to move the you want to remove the sway bar end links. Let me see if I can get get in a little bit further on that. Let me bring this let me bring this down just a little bit. Sorry about that. Give me one second to adjust this. I don't have my normal setup, so I'm having to adjust this on the fly. I hope, you, hope there's enough light in there where you can see that. So I'll get in there. So, okay, so you wanna take this sway bar end link off and you wanna take the ball joint off. It goes right here. That's where you go, it goes right here. That's where you wanna use that ball joint separator. In order to make this video uh, time uh, sensitive, I, I, I can't show the, remo the removal of every part. So here, here is a rack and pinion all the way back up in there. This is your sway bar. You can see it's, it's pretty loose because I already went ahead and, and loosened it up. Let's turn that back straight.
So, also too, you can see right in here, sway bar is already loose. Wrecking uh, the uh, ball joint. So, as you see, I took the ball joint separator and I, I removed the ball joint from out of here. Okay, so now let me turn this back. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to go underneath the vehicle. Bear with me one second. Sorry having to go through all of this, but like I said, I don't have my normal setup. So, okay. So now we're gonna go underneath the car. Okay, let's go. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so you see this bolt, this bolt. There's four bolts that hold the rack and pinion. You got this one right here, and you got this one right here. And I just showed you the other two. These two right here, this one and this one. So you want to take those four bolts off. And now also too, you can see right up in there where I loosen the sway bar up. And this another one right up in there. So I look I went ahead and loosened those up. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, take those four bolts out and we're going to pull this bad boy out. You know what? Let me show you where the high pressure line is. So, let's see if I can. Uh -huh. Can't get in there. Okay, so See those lines right there there's where you're gonna have to um, use that That 11 16th wrench to break that free I've already broke mine free So Now Take this off Put it. Let's see if I can put that right there. Oh, man. Okay. So when I take the nuts and bolts off, I go ahead and put put it right back on there. So it won't so it will not get lost. These are the four bolts that hold the uh, rack and pinion through the subframe.
number three. Well, I think I'm gonna have to go and get my wrench because this one, I didn't completely take it off. So it still has a little dirt grime on it. Be right back. Okay, so before uh, I said that the these the, the uh, bolts that hold the rack and pinion to the subframe, it was a 12 millimeter, but it's actually a 14 millimeter. So the 12 millimeter is going to be for the uh, well the rack and pinion where it mounts up to the steering column. That's for, for the 12 millimeter. This one, this other end is a 14. So you got 12 and you got 14. So this 14 goes right here, and you turn. So. Let me get So you can see I'm having to improvise as I go here. There it is. So those are the these are, those are the four bolts that are held up there that holds the rack and pinion up there. Okay, so now we are going to. I just use some regular channel locks. I just put push put it up there and I grabbed the head and I turned it down here. That's all I did. Okay, so now you have that free. Now you have that free. Let me bring the camera over here so you can see. So now you can see right up there. Let's see. Right up there where that rubber boot is. That's where uh, you have to unbolt it. It's a 12 millimeter. A bolt that you have to unscrew. That's why you have to use that small little um, socket to get in there. Okay, so now uh, let's see. Okay, we did that. We did that. And the next thing you have to do is you have to unbolt the high pressure lines. Let's put this back on there. So I showed you what you need to do to unbolt those high pressure lines. You know what? Let me show you again.
So you see it's already free. It's ready to come out. So what you want to do is you want to take that wrench, put it right on there, and you turn it. You may have to use a breaker bar on that. So. Okay. So. Move all this out of the way. 